Hello YouTubers! If you remember, more than a year ago I've tested and compared two 21700 high capacity lithium ion cells, Samsung 48G and LG M50 Grade B. This time I've tested LG M50 Grade A. This cell I've tested using the latest version of my battery holder, while Grade B cell was tested with the previous version. M50 is a 5000 mAh 21700 size cell which supports continuous discharge at up to 7.28 or 14.6 amps depending on the temperature. By the way, its model on the heat shrink tube is M50T and in the newer version of its datasheet is changed from M50 to M50T. Also the new datasheet has increased the maximum discharge current supported by M50T. So let's move on and take a look at my testing conditions before passing to the results. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5 mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9 mm wide, and the width of negative terminal is 11.5 mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. Here is the marking on the heat shrink tube of the cell which I've tested. LG GB M50T 2100 R229H165A2. M50T has the following specs according to his datasheet. Nominal energy 18.2 Watt hours. Minimum energy 17.6 watt hours, nominal voltage 3.63 volts, standard charge current 1455 milliamps, maximum charge current from 0 to 25 centigrade 1455 milliamps, from 25 to 45 centigrade 3.4 amps, charge and voltage 4.2 volts, charge cutoff current 50 milliamps, maximum continuous discharge current from minus 20 to 10 centigrade 2425 milliamps. From 10 to 25 centigrade 14.6 amps. From 25 to 55 centigrade 7.28 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 25 milliohms. Maximum weight without washer 70 grams. Cycle life. After 300 cycles using 1.6 amp charge with 243 milliamp cutoff and 1.6 amp discharge with 2.85 volt cutoff, the energy should be about 80% of the initial value. Cells should rest 10 minutes after charge and 20 minutes after discharge. The measured weight of my cell was 69.25 grams. Its diameter was 21.2 mm and it was 70.5 mm long. The DC internal resistance measured at 4850 mA or 1C in fully charged condition was around 25 mA. At 0.2C or 0.97 amps, LG M50T gave out 4974 mA or 18.1 Wh. At 5 amp discharge, the result was 4841 mAh or 16.74 Wh. At 7.28 amps, 4779 mAh or 16.09 Wh. At 10 amp discharge, 4752 mAh or 15.61 Wh. At 15 amps, 4649 mAh or 14.61 Wh. So, what can I say? M50T didn't surprise me. Its capacity is a bit lower than 5000 million powers, but still above 4950. Its curves look very good at rates up to 10 amps, but 15 amp discharge is really its maximum which should not be applied regularly. 
If you are designing a battery pack using these cells, you'd better use 10 amps as the maximum continuous discharge rate in your calculations. That's all I was going to tell you about M50T. Like this video if it was interesting, share it, leave your comments and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!